Hey guys, welcome to Joe Simonera Presents. I'm Joe Simonera. You know, does artwork have anything to do with how people watch your movie or how it gets sold and distributed overseas? Coming up next, just how important is your poster art? Well, I'd say there's two really important things in the movie industry, and one of them is your poster art, and second are your lenses to your camera. Those are my two things that I would say are the most important uh, in this industry. But let's, the topic of today is going to be poster art. I've been very successful selling films overseas because of the poster art that I use. I have excellent designers and I've always put more than what I've had to. This is gonna sound crazy, but sometimes I've even spent more on the artwork than I have to actually make the movie. Especially back in my earlier days with making a whole bunch of shorts and stuff like that. Artwork is crucial because it's the first thing someone sees. All right, so, so let's just, go back into the distribution process. So let's say you're working with a traditional distributor and they bring their catalog overseas. You know, let's just say they're dealing with, I don't know, Germany. So Germany doesn't screen every movie one at a time. They buy in bulk. So they say, give me 30 movies, give me 50 movies, give me 100 movies. And they go through the catalog and when they're flipping through the catalog, they may be looking for a certain category like horror or something like that, but they're looking at the artwork because the artwork is what's gonna sell, is what's gonna make people watch the actual film. Look, you've been, how many of you have been on Netflix, Amazon, uh, and you're going to go see a movie? That thumbnail, just like with YouTube, is really what's gonna bring you to watch that film, to watch that movie. So I think it's very important uh, for filmmakers to concentrate on you know getting good artwork getting good posts now what does that mean do you need to spend two thousand dollars a post let me tell you something for purification uh which was my first film that i did i paid almost three thousand dollars for that poster i will never in a million years ever pay three thousand dollars or even a fraction of that anymore because now i got hip to it but there are, if you go to Upwork or Odesk or se several sites like that where you can find designers overseas who are just brilliantly talented, uh, they can put together a great art form, uh, a great poster art. Now, what about the name? How do you decide what to name your film, right? Well, the first thing I always do is look at the IMDb search. Uh, you never want to do a name that someone else has done within the last year or two on IMDb. I have always found that that was a no-no. Crisscross names and search engine optimization and everything else, it just does, it doesn't work in your favor. Uh, and if you think you're gonna ride the coattails of something like Sinister, let's say Sinister came out and you say, well, maybe I'll name my movie Sinister House. Doesn't really work. You're not really gonna ride that wave off of that title as well. However, if you were doing The Hunger Games, and you wanted to ride off of the Hunger Games. Let's say you had a film that was like the Hunger Games. Now, I don't say name it Hunger Games in New York or something like that. But if you did another poster of a girl with a bow and arrow, that would be a good move to get people to watch that actual film. So there are tricks to the trade. You have to be a little bit of a visionary to, to see what will spark people uh, from looking at your film. Uh, you know, listen, the, the, the days of, of having some nudity in the film and a couple of beautiful women looking on the cover, you know, that, that, that helped sell, sell it for a while. Now, nobody's looking for that. VOD outlets kind of are steering away from nudity and stuff like that. So you have, to, you have to be really creative with your poster art. You know, don't spend $5 on your poster art uh, because that's really what's gonna represent your film. That is going to be your arm extension to say, hey, go and see this incredible film that I just made. Uh, and then all of a sudden you, you, you post a no frills artwork on the poster. And it's like, I mean, people are gonna look at the poster and they're not even gonna wanna see it, much less a, some, a, you know, some kind of a film buyer buying it. So the poster art is one of the most important things when filmmaking, especially for independent film directors, because keep in mind, both networks, distributors, buyers, and even people that watch it. That's really the first thing that they're gonna say when they when they look at it. They want an attractive piece 
uh, you know, of artwork coming out. Now you can also get some stock footage, have an artist work on it, but but that's really very, very, very important. I'm surprised we haven't spoken about this topic on this, on this channel yet. Uh, and by the way, do me a favor and subscribe because my views are going up like crazy, but nobody's actually subscribing, but the people are coming back to comment and someone said you better make sure that everyone subscribes just say that so please subscribe uh going back to the poster art now you can get really creative with the poster art fonts are very important as well you want to use a creative font don't use a font that you can you can pick up off of, off of microsoft word or something like that it, you know spend a little bit of money re, be resourceful a little bit and get an out-of-the-box font that's really going to speak uh, volumes and and don't have the poster art so busy you know don't have a million things on it if it's a show about comedy highlight what that movie's about with the title with a little bit of emphasis about what the film is uh, but but don't put a million and one things I've seen too many filmmakers try to put so many actors in there because they don't want to hurt someone's feelings or they figure let me try to get everybody in there because I didn't pay them that much don't your, your poster, your artwork says everything for your film. It's the number one thing. That's the first thing that people see to watch your film. Put your best foot forward and make sure that you're doing artwork that you're going to be proud of, that people out there are going to look at and say, okay, I want to watch this movie. Nobody is going to be thumbing through Amazon, looking at the video section, and they see this crappy poster, you know, that you could have just drew yourself. I'm not an artist. so. But I'm saying, you, you know, your crappy poster, nobody's going to be watching that movie. I can tell you that right now. You know, the poster art sells. And, you know, there's been plenty of times that the poster art's really good, but the movie sucks. But at least you had a chance for them to, to, to watch it and you have a 50-50 shot whether or not they'll follow you and follow your brand and watch more movies, etc. Big, big, big fan of poster art. I can't, I can't express it to you enough. Spend a little extra money, spend a little bit extra time, and, and make a poster that's really going to speak about what your film is about. Make it attractive so that everybody who sees it is going to want to watch it. And the buyers overseas are going to want to purchase it. That's it for today. Lights, camera, action. Start that movie and distribute it today.